Hello Youtubers, I'm Parwais and this is our 6th video in Learn Django 2.1. In the previous video we have learned about uh, uh, about the second part of URL configuration in Django. Uh, and in this video I want to show you how you can connect your Django application uh, with MySQL database. Uh, as if you watched my previous video, uh, I have said that Django uses uh, SQLite database by default. Uh, if you open your settings.py and if you come in here uh, in the databases uh, let me show you yeah and here you can check that default engine is SQLite 3 but this is a development server uh, uh, development uh, database and when you're going to do production application you need to uh, uh, on other databases like MySQL Oracle or uh, there are some other databases so particularly in this video, I want to show you how you can connect uh, your Django application with uh, MySQL database. Uh, for this, I'm using a WAM server. Uh, I have downloaded this, and you can download this. Uh, let me open my uh, open PHP my admin like this. And uh, before this, let me uh, run my server. Uh, let me open my terminal. This is my terminal, and I'm going to create a new session. Okay, now in here, uh, I want to change directory to my project and Python uh, manage.py run server. Okay, uh, now my server is going to be run. Let me make it smaller. Okay, now I have my development server. Let me just copy my URL and paste that in my browser. And this is my PHP, my admin. I have a username of root and I don't have password. Okay. Now in here, I'm going to create a new database uh, at the name of, for example, Django, like this, and I'm going to create, okay, now my database is created at the name of Django. Uh, this is my development server running. Okay, after this, uh, before this, that we are going to bring changes for this, uh, you need to install uh, a package that's called MySQL Client because without that if you don't have mysql client you cannot connect your uh, django application or another application with mysql database so for installing of that uh, you can install uh, i will add these two in my in the video description uh, you can install through pep install mysql client if it gives you error uh, the second way is that you can uh, download the well file uh, this is the website i will add the uh, link of this website to the video description you can download mysql client uh, the well file of mysql client according to your python version you can see we have python 3.7 we have 3.6 and you can pep in install through pep and add your path of this but the easiest way uh, that you can do uh, that is uh, uh, let me show you that is this comment uh, i will add this to the video description you can simply install the binary pep install dash dash only dash binary of all mysql client you can uh, and it will simply install okay after installing this now you need to bring some change to your database first thing i need i'm going to change the sqlite 3 uh, database to the let me uh, change this to uh, mysql okay and for the name, uh, let me just remove this. And for name, I'm going to give it, uh, what was my, uh, uh, this is your database name. And my database name is Django. After this, I need to give a user. And my username is root. I need to give a password 
and my password is I don't have any password for my database because it is a local server it's a web server so I don't need to give any password also I need to give a host uh, this is local host and also I want to give a port number port and uh, uh, web server by default use 3306 uh, okay uh, now this is my configuration for my database after doing this you need to migrate now I'm going to open my terminal and in here uh, I have two running servers okay let me just create a new session and I'm going to cd my project and in here uh, python manage.py and uh, run uh, not run server uh, migrate now it will take some time uh, now applying migrations okay now uh, if now it's completed all of them are okay if I check my app I have a new migration I think no uh, okay now uh, I'm going to be for this uh, I have migrated but I'm going to remove this SQLite 3 because I don't need to this let me just remove this okay now I'm going to open my uh, uh, database that I have some files for this yeah you can see now I have these files out group out permission these all are uh, related to the Django application and it is in my database Django I have the Django session Django migrations okay uh, but right now if I go to the admin, admin if you remember my previous videos I have created a super user of admin and if I give it my this was my username and my password I'm going to give it and if I log in you can see please enter the correct username because we have created our Django administration user in the SQLite now we are going to uh, create this in the uh, MySQL database so now in here uh, in my terminal I'm going to uh, Python manage.py uh, create super user now I'm going to okay uh, username I'm going to leave it blank my username is pathways and I want it should be like pathways and for the email address I'm going to give it an email address and I need a password also I need a password now super user created successfully uh, right now if I refresh my Django app now you can see it's uh, automatically uh, let me log out log in and log in again I add my username I add my password and log in now uh, I'm in my uh, admin administration page okay uh, now uh, thank you guys and uh, if you have any question uh, please let me know and for the further videos don't forget subscription of my channel